With the override of his veto, the House has handed Governor Bruce Rauner a stunning defeat. A $36 billion budget now takes effect with a record tax hike. And the road there was dramatic down to the end. This budget is junk. I urge a no vote. The budget does not significantly tackle pension reform or freeze property taxes. We're raising their income tax rate by 32 percent. And what do we get? Nothing. But it does fund schools, get construction projects up and running again, and finance social service agencies challenged these past two years. Without this, we're over the cliff. It took 71 votes, the absolute minimum required to override the governor's veto. It included Republicans who crossed party lines to do so. Our options are this or financial meltdown. The $36 billion budget raises $5 billion in new revenue, and it will help pay down $15 billion in unpaid bills that mounted during the crisis. We did what was right for the future of our state. The override was a definite victory for Democratic House Speaker Mike Madigan. Relief the vote was over was visible on the House floor. Thank you to all of you for persevering through this unbelievable struggle. This budget brings to an end the longest stretch of time that a state has operated without a budget since the Great Depression, but significant challenges like overhauling a hemorrhaging pension system or avoiding junk bond status still remain to be tackled. In Springfield, Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News.